everybody another caterpillar walk around for you this is a model 22 so this is gasoline or kerosene tractor fuel we should say kind of the forerunner of the gas powered r2 and diesel powered d2 just a slightly smaller version this one is number 2f6468 Kind of a nice looking original condition machine yet. Again, grousers have been built up, but I'll give it a free pass. It's probably done a lot of hours in its day. Some snow relief holes torched in the pads, pretty typical for this uh, part of the country. These were the old uh, channel frame design track frames, again flat. They'd pick up a lot of dirt if the track tin was not in place. This should have some track tin that comes up and then angles down. That's missing, which is usually the case. But Otherwise, undercarriage doesn't look horrible. Rails are pretty decent. This was the same track pitch and same bolt pattern as the eventual Cat D2, in case anybody's wondering. Sprockets have a little wear, but by no means bad been some build up on the front idlers most of the manifold on this looks pretty darn good heating jacket still intact it's for if you're running your lower grade fuels it, there's a flapper valve up in here that directs uh, exhaust gas or through this heating jacket and around your incoming air fuel charge so if you're burning lower grade fuels it would preheat them get better uh, vaporization better burn mushroom top air cleaner on it here is your oh this says ox tank and main tank so this must be main tank would be what you're primarily burning ox tank would be uh, like your uh, starting fuel smaller tank for your gasoline to get it started and running and then slip it to main tank for when it's warmed up you can burn your lower grade fuels that way sure that's what it is has the old Eisman mag switch on off and on and it's got the thimble switch that's actually a removable key it's uh, they call it the thimble switch because it looks kind of like an old sewing thimble but you actually give that a turn and pull it out which I won't those are very hard to find oil pressure gauge the old style water temp gauge he's always had an interesting throttle mechanism you got your ratchet right here, it goes down to this lever. This lever kind of operates this other one that's kind of got like an open-ended gear kind of, or an open-ended wrench kind of looking end on it. And then it finally pulled on the linkage. Little patent tag, you still read most of it. Okay, this has an interesting little PTO on the back. I am not familiar with this at all. That's an interesting development. Huh. Does look like it's been modified to fit, like they took the back cover off and put a flat steel plate. See some brazing there. I don't know if something broke or if there's a leak or what. Kind of a, I'd say a homemade modification there. Very neat nonetheless. Brake pedals are still rather textured, so it doesn't have a ton of uh, hours on it. Shift pattern tag, instructions, and these ones have a foot clutch. There's your foot clutch over there, not a lever clutch like the D2 or the R2. Yeah, see here's your, I believe this is your auxiliary tank. You'd use this for your starting fuel like your raw gasoline. The main tank then would be right here, would be your lower grade fuels. A tank inside of a tank. Undercarriage about the same over here. Rails decent, sprockets a little worn. Got some build up on the grousers. Ooh, this still has the louvered spark plug cover on the side. Those are an uh, item that's usually always missing and they're very, very hard to find. Nice little feature to see on there. Got their mag covered up because there's been some rain. These had the fuel pump. 
on the side, or on the front I should say. And for running your tractor fuels back in the day, you used to have a screen that you could pull up to block your radiator to make the engine run a little bit warmer. That's what these notches are for. You would run your screen up into whichever one of these notches best uh, covered your radiator to suit your needs. Anyway, Caterpillar 22. Thanks for watching, everybody.